Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the developer behind Oka Software. We make game assets for Unity. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really excited to show some of the new features that we're launching for Buto uh, in the upcoming week. So these features are um, going to be live in the next feature release for Buto. Uh, basically, we've added spotlight support as well as directional lighting support. So I'm going to show off spotlights and then I'll show off the directional lighting. First, we'll start with the spotlights. So for spotlights, you can see them active here in the scene. These are in addition to the existing point lights that we already support. So here I'll just kind of click on one or two of these different spotlights that we have. And you can see that we're taking in the inner and outer spot angle of the spotlight and that we can use that information to, you know, really have these spotlights illuminate the scene um, in a way that looks really cool, um, really helps to drive depth in the scene. And you can see that they're actually in interacting and integrating with one another. So this white light is kind of blending with the red and blue lights that we have down here, and they're all, you know, rendering in the scene perfectly as well. So that's the spotlights. Um, really excited to have that go live, and you can blend those in and out of the scene as you'd like, and they react uh, extremely well as you kind of change the fog density as well. So you can see the fog density will attenuate those lights as well, um, consistent with other objects in the scene. So it's really cool to see that this new feature is finally available in Buto. Um, it's something that I've been really excited about and interested in providing for a long time. Now, the next feature, the directional lighting feature, is something that you can actually see here, but um, it might not be that obvious. So I'll start by turning it off. So here's Buto without directional lighting enabled. So what directional lighting does is um, basically when you're looking in the direction of the main directional light, it'll change the light, the fog properties. Um, it'll basically tint the fog um, consistent with the directional forward and directional back settings um, that you set here. So we've set the directional forward to this orange color. So when you're looking towards where the um, main directional light is located in the scene, you can see here it's kind of located over here right now, just below the horizon. So we'll just take this up so you can see it. So when you're looking in the direction of that directional light, um, the fog becomes orange. When it's disabled, it's just kind of this boring gray color. So it's really exciting to see that. And then you can do the same thing for when you're looking away from the fog. So over here, now we're back to that gray setting. But if you enable the directional back lighting, now you can have this really cool blue color or really any color that you'd like um, to help attenuate the lighting uh, according to how you would like it to appear in the scene. You can also configure the directional ratio, which configures basically like the extent to which um, like the sort of the cone around the main light in which the directional forward lighting is active. So when this is quite high, the directional forward lighting is mostly just active in this small area. And then when you bring it all the way down, you can see that that directional forward lighting becomes active across more of the scene. Um, and this effect is actually automatically attenuated as the sun progresses up above the horizon. So it won't affect you know, your day-to-day -day scene and you'll still have your normal looking scene as you bring the sun up. But then when it comes back down, you'll see that this lighting gets reintroduced. Um, so it's a really nice dynamic uh, lighting feature that will really add depth and interest in your scene. Um, so really excited to see what you guys can do with this. Um, and I'll include the link to the asset in the description below. Thanks for watching.